In this video, we are going to go over the integrated storage of the ASI Air Plus, and we're starting now. Hi there, my name is Dalen here at Astro Escape. We go over all things astrophotography, starting from the very beginner level and work on our way up from there, all to help you escape the day to day and image the night. If you're new here, if you like what you see as you're watching this video, please do consider giving this one a like. So let's get going. So the new EMMC storage is a nice touch, but it could be better. And here's why. EMMC is an old storage technology that was used in cell phones up until about 2016. In 2016, cell phones switched to a different file system called Universal File Storage, which allows for much faster read and write times and much larger capacity for storage. The EMMC storage on the website it boasts read and write speeds under 100 megabytes for both. The sad thing there is EMMC can reach average speeds of 250 megabytes for reading and 125 for writing so it seems like they may have limited some of the capabilities of the chip. Now crazily enough UFS can go into the gigabytes of speed for read and write speeds. Now for long exposure photography like astrophotography the read and write speeds aren't really that big of a deal but it is still slow. Now where those speeds are going to impact you is when you're transferring all of your data off of the EMMC storage and onto your computer at home. However, it won't affect your process while you're out there imaging, especially if you're doing like five or 10 minute images. Now what I'm hoping here is that with the next iteration of the ASI Air that they do switch to UFS. However, that is purely dependent on the Raspberry Pi system being able to support that. So once it can support UFS, it's gonna allow for some crazy large internal storage that transfers everything off of the device itself and onto your computer at blazing fast speeds and it'll just save you a ton of time. The EMMC storage is a nice touch for now and it's like I said, it's my hope is that this opens the door for just much better options later in the future. Let's do a little comparison test. So I have 300 dark frames that were five seconds long that I took just to eat up a lot of room on the drive and on the thumb drive that was provided with the Pro. And let's do a little bit of a speed comparison to see which one is actually faster. Now for comparison's sake, I am transferring them onto the main drive of my computer, which is a Samsung Evo 970 NVMe drive, which are blazing fast. So let's do the comparison. All right, so I have the ASI Air Plus sitting right here. It's plugged in, ready to roll, turned on. So all I have to do is use this USB-C cable I have and then just plug it into the PC slot here. I have my window here. So when I set this up, I did auto run, darks, and then these are just 600 random darks. They were, what, five seconds long? I was really only trying to fill the drive up just a little bit, and I also did the same amount of darks on the thumb drive. So what I'm gonna do is copy all of them. And then I have the Air Plus folder here that is meant for it to transfer. Now, like I said, this drive is actually a very fast drive that I'm transferring it to. So we'll just have to see what the differences are. So let's go ahead and paste. And we can already see that this is gonna take about two minutes and 45 seconds. I'm not gonna make you sit through all that, so we'll go ahead and speed it up. All right, and it looks like we are finishing up. All right, so now we're gonna use the USB 3 thumb drive that came with the ASI Air Pro. Now, I'm not sure about the read and write time, so they're on screen right now for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it plugged in. So now the thumb drive is plugged in, and you can see that it is the one I used on the ASI Air before. So we'll go ahead and go back in, and again, it was an auto run, and it was darks and we will select all and I'm going to copy these and just paste them in here and let's see how long this takes. All 
All right, so it's pretty obvious that we have a clear winner in the speed race when it comes to internal storage versus using a thumb drive. Don't get me wrong, it's still great having this internal storage. And what this does for me is it makes me hopeful for the next iterations of the ASI Air. The other thing I'm hoping that they do is find a way to power the ASI Air, maybe using the USB-C port. That way you don't have to pull your power supply out of your kit and use it while plugging it into your computer. And that would just make transferring off even better. I hope this just allows for a much beefier storage system that is much faster in the future and this is just the first step towards that if you found this video helpful please do like comment and then maybe consider subscribing i want to thank you for watching clear skies